as we start this video, I want to show you a very simplistic illustration of what we're going to try to accomplish. Initially, you have your pond and you're going to try to put a line through this structure. First thing we will do is to remove the freeboard from the top of the dam. Then the excavator will, setting up on that flat top, will then remove a trench where the pipe will go. We then slide our intake pipe out into the pond and you notice there's a little valve back there at the back that is so that we can shut the line off and will not be leaking when we're putting in our coffer dam. We put a coffer dam out here. You need good tight clay to make this happen. Once we get the coffer dam in, we check it for leaks and uh, start pumping the water out of it. And once we get the water pumped out of it, we continue to check for leaks for a little bit. Once we're assured that we don't have leaks coming through the dam, we will then build the remainder part of the trench. We put in the trench back as far as the vertical uh, valve well will be. We'll put it back here with the valve, get it placed in, and then we'll cover the trench all back in, up including to the coffer dam. And then we'll put the soil back up on top and rebuild the top of the dam. The process normally takes uh, three hours plus or minus. A new contractor, it may take as much as four. Then any time after, you can extend the line on out to where the livestock waterer will be located. This morning, we will be installing the riser in this pond. Here are the parts that you will need. The long piece is seven foot long. I will use it for the vertical part of the riser. These two shorter pieces, they are two foot long each. They will be the feet that supports it. And then the two T's, notice they're put together in this configuration. Uh, that will be significant, you will see it. Okay, I am in the drilling process here and just about to drill the last hole. As you can see, there's lots of material as a result of the drilling on the pipe. I tried to get that all cleaned up prior to putting it together. This material is just a real hazard when it gets into your valve at the waterer later. As you can see, I now have the holes drilled and we're ready to assemble. My first step is to assemble the feet. No big trick to that, just get it in there with a 90 degree and the short piece of pipe coming out of the center leg. The next step is to get the, the riser put on properly. You want it to be nice and square. With this all assembled, we are now ready to move it to the site. It is much easier to do this at the shop where you have power tools, a drill press to make all the holes. When we get to the field, the first thing we do is assemble the riser onto the pipe that will extend out into the pond. The first step the excavator does is remove a slot down to within about three inches of the water level and then we'll get his excavator up on top of that slot. At this point, the contractor reaches out with the excavator as far as he can, goes down to the bottom till he hits solid, and then creates the trench. We hope that the trench will be three to four foot deep as it comes to the water's edge. He'll bring that trench underneath where he is setting, where we will put the pipe later. There's a cap on each of the feet. There's a hole in the ends of each. It takes just a bit of time for water to fill that pipe and so it'll stay in the bottom. And then it's a simple process of sliding the riser and pipe out into the pond. I've got air locked in this line so that it'll float 
so that when we want to take it over here oh, on top of his trench, we can float it over there and not get uh, dirt knocked in his trench. And here we are finishing the digging of the trench and sliding that across right above the trench. Now I am releasing the air just by opening that valve. Release the air out of the PVC pipe. PVC pipe is slightly heavier than water and so it will sink to the bottom. When it gets all the way down, I will shut the valve off until we make the connection later. Building the coffer dam requires some of the best clay that you find in the site. Putting it out there, packing it in, it's a slow process. If you don't have good clay, the coffer dam will become wide and flat and uh, may cover up the valve that you have at the end. It can be a real problem. It takes a little time to build this. As soon as we get enough soil up in the coffer dam to start damming up water, we start pumping the water out. Our objective now is to spy those leaks and to expose the pipe, getting the pipe laying as flat as possible. I think we do have a little bit of a leak there. You show the contractor and he tries to do additional packing. Then we make sure that we get the pipe that is through the coffer dam as flat and level as possible right there because we'll be making a connection to it later. Digging the remainder of the trench is not much different than digging across a field. We're going to be very careful right there where the valve is, where it starts, and we'll be continuing this trench down as far as where we will put the shutoff valve that is behind the pond in. We will then put a pipe up here to connect to that valve. We will actually glue that in to the valve. Now we are back gluing the valve that will be the one we shut off whenever we need to service the tank. We've glued it in. I like to allow the water to flow through the line for a few seconds at least to uh, make sure we get all the air out of it. When I tell people that we will not lose more than a hundred gallon of water, that counts this water. Here the system is in, we're connected to through the coffer dam. Now we need to build the valve protection. You notice the slots in the side of the large green pipe that is so that it keeps the pipes located. Putting them in is it's difficult to keep everything lined up 
and that's the reason we do a lot of hand work on this portion. At this point, we're ready to extend the line to put the water in. We will be putting in this in the dam water that goes right in the backside of the dam and will be covered with soil from the dam.